Oh, it's canon. <laughs> Meow. What's happening, film friends? Dave the Film Junkie here. <laughs> and Zach fucking Snyder. That's right. Why do we love this guy? Well, because he doesn't give a fuck sometimes. He just says, fuck it. And literally, boop, detonates a bomb. Currently, his uh, name is trending right now at 12,500 tweets. Because about four hours ago, and I'm sure it's going to go on and on and on. Probably wake up tomorrow, still be trending. But yeah, four hours ago, I can't show the image. <laughs> I went, when I first started recording this video, I was like, yeah, show that image. What? I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> This is YouTube we're talking about. Might get the damn thing pulled because it is somewhat, you know, explicit, I guess you could say. You guys all know what I'm talking about. Obviously, the uh, topic of conversation about Batman doing some kind of lingus going down on Catwoman because when it came to Harley Quinn, somebody from the Harley Quinn show said, yeah, in season three, we wanted to have a scene that had Batman going down on Catwoman, but DC said no. Heroes don't do that, to which we went, what the fuck? Pretty sure that Lois Lane and Iris West are pretty happy. You get where I'm going with that, right? Now, of course, Batman doesn't have that super tongue like they do, but still. Him and Selena Kyle? Oh, my God. I'm sure. It's pretty damn awesome. And yes, you better believe that he does go down. He eats that pussy. <laughs> I don't know why I was just trying to avoid saying that, but I said it. Eat that pussy. That's right. Eat that pussy. And we knew that, in fact, eats that pussy. So naturally, of course, the internet just blows up because brilliant that the man not only posted it on Vero, and then, of course, everybody was screenshotting it, putting it on Twitter, but then he decided just to post the image on Twitter himself. And the image is, uh, well, yeah, Im image is, that's for damn sure, you know, is uh, pretty explicit. That's why I'm not going to show it because I'm going to get kicked off YouTube. But yeah, it's very much on a rooftop. Catwoman is, uh, well, she's in ecstasy as Batman is just chomping away. That's right. I mean, there's nothing really too much showing, but it's suggestive as hell. And uh, I mean, wow, wow, wowie, wow. Let's cut to uh, the people over at Warner Brothers and DC Films. Fuck! People are going to be talking about this all weekend, probably. I'm just saying. And I just love the fact that he did this um, at night. I mean, I mean, obviously, it was like four hours ago or something like that, I think. I don't know. I think it was, yeah, 6.44 p.m. I was, it was funny because I was at my mom's. And I went, what? Holy shit. And I didn't want to like, hey, check this out, mom. Yeah, I didn't quite do that. But it was just like, it was crazy. So now, naturally, it's just being thrown all over the place. Everybody's loving it. Everybody's just absolutely loving it. His tweets now has got like almost like 14,000 quote tweets, 103 likes, 22,600 retweets. And like I said, uh, his name is trending. And it's just kind of funny because... It is interesting that there are people out there, Zack Snyder haters, that have actually been quote tweeting going, oh my God, I actually like Zack Snyder now. Of course, there are the hypocrites out there. I've already ran into one of them where that person was, you know, tweeting about the whole, you know, Batman kind of lingus thing and just kind of, you know, being on release to kind of lingus cut, doing all this stuff like that. And then all of a sudden when Zack Snyder decides to just do his thing, what a child he is. And you go, yeah, well, you just revealed yourself as a hypocrite. Aw, don't do that. If you don't like Zack Snyder, that's fine. Perfectly fine. You have every right not to like him. But just don't be a hypocrite. There's other ways to show your hatred, okay? So do it where you don't actually, you know, where it's just like everybody's just kind of laughing at you because, yes. Ah, you know, and then, of course, there's going to be other people that do that, too. And I think I saw somebody say, like, you have, you have a wife and you have eight, like, eight kids. And I'm just kind of going, okay. First off, the older kids that are on social media probably just don't give a shit and probably thought it was funny. The younger kids are not on social media. And as for his wife, well, Debbie's always smiling. Take that. Fucking hard fat. But it's been an interesting week with this conversation about Batman um, eating pussy. Yeah. Even casual Batman chimed in and said, why is everybody... Asking about him eating pussy, and he's, you know, I mean, it's casual Batman. What do you expect? I mean, I'm sure we're going to be hearing from that guy very soon, especially now, especially now. When it comes to all this, I mean, this is something he can't 
keep quiet about. And I think he's going to have, he's going to rant off about um, this whole, this whole uh, conversation, which, you know, look forward to that at least. But yeah, this is absolutely fantastic. Jay Oliva also got involved <laughs> and he chimed in on it too, did a little quote tweet and said like, you know, his versions totally have Batman going downtown. So I mean, it's just like, what is happening? I, I I want more. I want more. More people. I have a feeling like celebrity types, actors, other people, you know, people that are have, you know, that are maybe have worked with Zach or whatever the hell. They're going to chime in on this, too. It's going to be funny. OK, I think this is going to trend for a little bit. It's going to be a topic of discussion well into the weekend. We'll be talking about it, of course, tomorrow night on the Vodka stream as well, which is great. Um, but yeah, guys, I just wanted to make this video. I know it's a little late. I was uh, at my mom's, like I said earlier, so I didn't get to just like jump right on it. But man, I tell you what, it is crazy. It is crazy. It's a good conversation to have. And uh, yeah, man, <laughs> I mean, just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Because like I said, I mean, the, the people over at DC and Warner Brothers are probably like, Jesus Christ, man. I mean, it, he's just, it's just to the point where he's just like, hey, you're not going to show me numbers. I'm going to tell me how good my film did. You're just going to, you know, say thank you. And that's about it. And uh, not talk about anything else. Well, then, you know, I'm just going to keep poking the bear a little bit. And this actually, without even like anything really Snyder cut related. Yeah, well, I mean, he does say canon, but at the same time, it wasn't like it was an image from there. Maybe it was eventually going to be an image from there. Who knows? I don't know. I mean, I, um, a lot of people were also discussing that, too, because I posted an image of Carla Gugino and Ben Affleck together, like in a very much Bruce Wayne and Selena Kyle way. And I was going, OK, yeah. You know, and I said, hashtag eat it, Warner Brothers, because, you know, get it, not suck it, but eat it. And some people were like, oh, Carla Gugino. I mean, we don't know if that would. Come on, guys. If Zack Snyder was going to have a Selena Kyle in his universe, Carla Gugino would be at the top, the very top of the list. Okay. I mean, remember when he posted that image of Batman and Catwoman and everybody freaked out because everybody was thinking that's that Catwoman was going to be in like the nightmare scene, but he was just, you know, you're just playing around. He's playing around, but you know, kind of ran it by said actress because she did do voiceover obviously for the Kryptonian ship that's her voice Car carla gigino's voice and uh yeah i think she would be down and she would be a fantastic selena kyle slash catwoman opposite of bat fleck age appropriate gorgeous badass everything so for god's sakes if oh man if uh the snyderverse definitely gets restored please please make that happen please make that happen you know hopefully if Ben decides to do his Batman flick. I don't know if Selena is involved or part of it. That'd be pretty sweet, though. Get her in there. Anyways, all right, guys. I've been rambling enough, and I appreciate you guys uh, watching this video. Hit that like, thumbs up. 105,000 likes now. Wow. Hit that like, thumbs up. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm doing this stuff. If you want to join Film Junkie, become a member. I do uh, post-show vlogs where I get a little extra tea in there. And I do once a week. I do a live stream where you guys can just pick my brain for a little bit. Uh, or if you want to join the Patreon and get some uh, early access to stuff I'm working on. Vodka stream guests, submitting videos. And then, of course, a Patreon stream where you can come on and actually talk to me. That's also down below. Or you can head uh, over to the Film Junkie closet and get some merchandise. All right, guys? All right. Sorry, I, I my tongue, mind of its own sometimes. Bye.